Hello everyone, this is Juva Rules uh, with this uh, video. This is not a video review. This is a, a video of how to transform properly uh, Sentinel Prime back into his vehicle mode, which is uh, to some people a little bit of a pain. And there are some issues uh, uh, to address here, but uh, if you can uh, position some parts in the correct way, you can have uh, Sentinel Prime transform into vehicle mode uh, properly and without any problems. First of all, uh, I want just to point out that uh, Sentinel Prime is not a shell former. Uh, boy, your Sentinel Prime is a shell former. Uh, this one, it's not. So, just want to clear that up. <clears throat> so, the first issue uh, some people have, it's making uh, Sentinel Prime standing up. And the reason is, uh, because uh, there's a way uh, to position uh, here the feet, as you can see, uh, there's some kind of a hinge there. So uh, to make it easier, uh, you need to uh, push uh, this part of the heel uh, forward, like so, and bring down um, the feet. And that will allow you to uh, make Sentinel Prime stand up. You can see, I didn't have any problems uh, on making uh, this figure standing up. Look, the way uh, the feet are positioned. <clears throat> so, uh, that's that. Uh, I'm not going to uh, explain the whole detail of the transformation. Uh, just, uh, when there's another thing that I want to point out here. Uh, when transforming with these panels, uh, this part of the door must go all the way inside. But as you can see here, uh, on this part of the wheel, uh, there's a little gap there, which uh, will uh, plug uh, just inside uh, uh, this little slot. So you have to put the door all the way in and the wheel, uh, so it will snap right there will snap right there you can see and make possible the, uh, the whole transformation well let me just uh, start uh, transforming here uh, Sentinel Prime and the first uh, the first thing you, uh, you need to keep in mind it's uh, when transforming Sentinel Prime you need to, to do it properly at the beginning and there's something here that needs to be uh, accurate. Here uh, on the arms, uh, there's a way uh, to position the arm and, and the fist. Uh, first, you need to close the fist. Um, then, you need to position uh, the arm uh, with this peg, because uh, this back panel uh, will peg right there. And put this right there. I'm sorry, it's the other way around. You position this and this uh, arm like this. Look at this. You do this and you turn this 90 degrees. And the fist here has to be uh, 90 degrees uh, this way so it can fit uh, uh, on the leg. Uh, this is the correct way to position the arm and the panel uh, before uh, going back here. Look at uh, look, look at this way. The peg right here and the fist uh, facing down. And then you can position this uh, on the back like this. And uh, having the fist this way will allow. Uh, uh, the fist to uh, fit uh, very easily uh, on this panel on the leg, uh, in the leg where, where it goes. So uh, let me do the same here. Um, close the fist and that. And, and that's the way uh, to transform that part. That is very important because if the fist doesn't, um, is, is not well 
uh, uh, let me say it's it's not uh, well packed inside uh, this part of the leg. Uh, that will make uh, fitting the whole panels uh, in, uh, is impossible. And so keep in mind that this is the first step transformation that you need to get right. Uh, so let me continue the, the transformation. Um, this the rest of the transformation here on the front it's basically uh, no problem for anyone so I'm going to transform this part before getting uh, into closing uh, the rest of the transformer so let me see so there I don't see any people complaining about this part of the transformation so uh, I don't need to explain uh, this part. If you have some issues, uh, you can post some comment on my video. So th that's the the front part already done. Okay. Now the tricky part, the legs. Uh, first, uh, you need. Oh, obviously, you need to. Let me use. Put my camera there. Um, for here, uh, the panels, and obviously you need to rotate uh, the leg 90 degrees, uh, so you can position the wheels uh, the way they go, and do this. Open this panel, and you're going to fit uh, this part of the arm inside here. And as as I tell you, you need to have at the fist this way. So that makes it easy to uh, fit. If you have the the other way around, uh, you can see it's uh, uh, a lot thicker uh, this side of the uh, the fist, and won't let this panel close. And if this panel don't close, the rest of the panels won't fit. Uh, and so that's one of the main issues. So you need to get this right, just like like you can see there. Once you have that right, uh, you shouldn't have any problems uh, making the rest of the transformation so uh, here there's another thing you need to keep in mind here uh, when closing uh, these back panels here inside uh, you have uh, these little molded things there right there so the fit either goes here or goes all the way down here and you can feel when it plugs right there it's very important uh, to plug that let me make the other transformation here so you can see what I'm talk talking about open, open this panel fit uh, here the fist here And if this fit is going this way down, this fit must go uh, up. There you go. This will go up. And you can see that there's this thing uh, molded here into the plastic. And this part of the fit must go in there. So it's, it, it, it gets stuck right there and allows this thing to pay without any problems. You can see that? There. Okay. Now you can see that uh, we are not having any problems here uh, with the arm or with the leg. Uh, everything is uh, pretty aligned there. So the next step here is to close this uh, uh, this panel and plug this right there and align this first. You need first to align this. There you go. And do the same here. First, align this. 
once you align this, uh, you should not have any problems with, with the rest of the panel. There you go. You can see. You can see it's uh, very well plugged, all the panels here on the back. That's the first thing you have to get right. Then you get this one here to the side. And align there. Yes, align this. And once you have uh, this whole panel line, attach this panel. There you go. And you can see there is no problem here with the panels. Everything is very aligned. Now, as you can see, uh, only this part here of the panel doesn't plug well. That's uh, the only uh, main issue uh, with this figure. Uh, this part of the panel won't plug uh, very well and that's because uh, it's a uh, uh, it's just a factory uh, problem there, quality problem. But the rest of the panels uh, must fit nice if you do the transformation well. Now you can see I already aligned this panel and attach this panel right there. There you go. And next, bring down uh, this whole uh, panel here and start here by pushing all the panels here together. And there you go. You can see uh, this won't fall out. And there is uh, any problem there. Uh, the vehicle is already uh, done. There you have Sentinel Prime in his vehicle mode and no problems here with the panels. So it is possible if you transform uh, this figure correctly from the beginning. Now this uh, the shield here can help you align uh, the rest of the, of the figure so if you fit this into its slot. Uh, this uh, uh, tends to help uh, the whole panels to, to be aligned but you can do it without the shield. So there you go. Uh, how to transform properly Sentinel Prime from robot mode to his vehicle mode.